this aside, buckle up my sleeves, and uh, let's plow into a second one, shall we? Put all this stuff away. Get that out of my way. Okay, now I'm gonna, oops. You know what I'm gonna do instead of wetting that up with my um, hand sanitizer stuff? I can't talk today. I'm usually never at a loss for words. Let me just pull this up. And another thing with that full sheet, you know how every time I did it before I had that little strip of unused paint down the middle? You know, I started to get a little bit smart, you know, when you live this long, if you don't pick up a little something here and there <laughs> along the way, you got a problem. But I, um, I took a little piece of that paper, I think I might have told you that, I'll have to show them to you. Um, and just went along the stripe and picked it up and moved the tape down as I did it and had it striped on the tape. Not bad. All right, you know what? Clean enough for now. I might put something else on that later. Now let's do something. I'm not a green. I'm not big on green. Not a green person. But I think I'm going to do something green. Because I have this fluorescent green and I haven't used... Whoa, baby. I haven't used it can put some blue on there maybe and mix the two. Oh, would that give me fluorescent turquoise? Oh, what a happy mama I would be. Okay, well let's, uh, let's do something else here. Why not? Punch out some holes. You know what I did? Here's my mistake I did last time. When I left little bits of the paint on here from the previous color palette, I thought, I'm going to cover those up. Well, hello, you pull this off, and then that's the only part that's exposed. So I'm going to try to put this where there are none of those bits. And the whatever I put on for the background paint, cover, color, whatever, will um, cover that up. <laughs> How do you like that? Have to get up pretty early in the morning to fool me, I'm telling you. <laughs> Let's put this over here. Okay. You know what I'm going to do one day? I'm just going to sit down here and just cut a bunch of strips because this is kind of silly. Everybody's sitting there watching me cut strips of paper. Tell you a couple dirty jokes, keep you entertained maybe. I won't do that. I really like the stripes of doing these little streaks in there. And it really, do, they don't have to be exact at all. Good thing. Did you see that one? <laughs> Looks like I've got half a load on trying to cut these babies up. something with these. There we go. One there. Let's maybe step them up like this. There we go. How's that? Now let's I'll use them somewhere else. Let me do a little something over here. I'll do those kind of more even. Get over there. And let's see. Let's do something down here. I'm cutting them now because I don't want that torn in there. Just because I don't. That's probably enough, huh? Never enough. This. Mm -hmm. Just put a couple little onesies in here. Different places. I don't know why. 
Why not, I ask? There we go. Good enough. All right, here we go. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. I need this to later. I never have enough space. I don't care what I do. You can see how big this desk is. It's about... Well, I know it's... I think it's six feet long, and it's um, deep enough that I can't reach the other side of it, and I'm 5'10", so got me some long arms. Uh, and uh, then I have a table beside it and a table over there, so I have this huge amount of flat space that is ridiculous. Okay, I'm looking now for, what do I need? Oh, I need another paper palette get myself lined up here. What's what's weird about using the jelly plate, I'm always thinking I'm using this is my only mop-up deal is right here. But you actually only use your brayer one time on the plate. I use it to brayer on my stamps and some of the the tools that I use. But um, I don't use it on my plate so much. So I see Said I'm gonna go. Where the hell did I put that already? <laughs> Does anybody see my palette knife? Did I put it back? I did. There you are. Okay, let's do this. We're gonna go green and blue. That's what we're gonna do. You know, that looks a little like I have to shake it, sort of. Isn't that fun watching me shake paint. I know how to good have a good time. I'm telling you that. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. There was some kind of stuff on the top. All right, lay this down a little bit right here on this side. On my shirt. I'm going to start a new fashion craze. Blue looks pretty good. This is called fluorescent blue, and honestly, I don't know that I would call it that. I like the color, it is vivid, but the green and the blue don't give me that like hurts my eyes to look at it kind of fluorescent like some of these other colors do. Like that yellow, I don't know if you can tell, but, and the orange, you know what I was saying before you could see a hunter from Mars with that orange on. Okay, so let's get some blue, but they do roll nice, I got, I'll give them that. Let's go this way. And then just, I'm not going to clean off my brayer. We're just going to see if we can get some blend on it. Because I love me some turquoise. Now we'll see what we get out of this. Mishmash, mishmash, shmishmash, whatever I'm saying. I don't even know what I'm saying. Ooh, that's pretty. <laughs> okay. might not be so bad. All right, we'll start pulling them up. Let's see what we get. I like this kind of little stair steppy thing here. Another one. Those. Oops. Here we go. Now this is kind of like separating on the gel plate and making little holes in the paint. Well, I guess that just means the pearls will come through the back a little bit better. Oh, you know what I should do? I'm going to have to yell in a minute and get my husband to throw me down some aluminum foil to put on the back of this one. How's them apples? <laughs> oh, crap. These are all in the middle. Forgot about that, but that's okay. Use my trusty palette knife and try not to gouge my plate. Well, the really thin parts are drying pretty quickly already. It's a little bit thicker over here. That wasn't too smart. Never claimed to be, so I guess that's okay. Oh, crap. I put my finger in it. Oh, well. I don't think it's the end of the world. Oh, how did that all get on there? Interesting. Let me see if I can scrape that off. I don't know how I did that. Oh, look at that. <laughs> it's like
look at my genius. <laughs> oh, I entertained myself. So, so there we go. Got a little blue green thing going on. Got all this open. And we gotta let that air dry. Be back. Okay, so we're back. I said I was gonna fast forward this, but I'm not sure I will. Eh, what the heck, you're used to seeing hour long videos from me. Mm. So I think I'm gonna use, I, you, I love this one, the stamp. I'm sure you guys have seen this everywhere. But I hate to use it all the same stamp on everything, but I really like it. But you know what I think I'll do? Tell you what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna let this one sleep for this one. And I'm going to use my um, Dilusions. Love me some Diane Reevely. Oh, look at the dots, too. I might be able to do all these. I don't know. Well, let's use the ABC. I used the numbers the other night in one that I did. Let's do... That's a little bit big for this, but... Oh, no, let me get a smaller one. It's right here in reach. My handy-dandy... Organized mess. Loving it though, gotta tell you. Okay, so I'm gonna use my palette and I'm gonna put a little bit of black paint on this. I went out to fineartstore.com today and I have a number of PBO paints in my shopping cart. I need them like I need a hole in the head, but I hate to always think, what if they run out of those? What if they don't make them anymore? Oh, somebody's going to have to talk me down off the building if they do. I sort of refresher, feel a little flash coming on, and not in a good way, people. All right, here we go. Plop some of this in. Oops, dropping it. Just a light press. Oh, that looks pretty. Some up over these little stripes. Yeah, I like this one on here. This is good. This is very, very good. Put that right over the hole. A little pop over there. Where do I have paint? Mm. There we go. Don't need to cover it, but I get carried away. I know that's a shocker, but it's true. Okay, so um, I'm going to let that dry. Put that off of there. Here's where we're landed so far. I really like those stripes. I like it. I'm so easily entertained, though. It's not even fair. <laughs> so, um, okay, where do we want to go from here, people? I want some PBOs in this one. I will not settle for it without PBOs. So, let's see. I have this green here. That might be kind of cool. The blue, I think, would blend too much. The orange, that'll work. This is too... Ooh, that's kind of cool, though. All right, let's see what happens. Let's see. No, how am I going to do these? That's the question. Oh, Lordy. Okay, let's. A little dabble do you right there. And let me see. Okay, will that work? I don't even know where I got these or where I. What, or four inking, I guess, off an ink pad, but oh, let's see. Those don't need to be in there. It's taking up all my space. Oh, that would be an interesting shape for a change, wouldn't it? It's off one of my hair products. <laughs> okay, let's just let's get started. Instead of just yakking and not doing anything, let's just dive in.
That's the yummiest paint. I hope you guys have some PBOs. Hi, food. Look at you. Oh, hello, lover. Yes, you are a lovely, lovely little vision. Let's go down this middle one with some dots in here. And let's go around one side of this. I don't want to make these too thick or it'll take for flipping ever to dry. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, Lord, I'm counting out loud to myself. <laughs> oh, oh, a little bit of crazy showing. Sorry. Okay. I like that, actually. I'm liking how this baby is coming together. Let's go down here on this one through the black a little bit. Okay, let's just do one in that one. Stop. See, I have to stop. I can't, that's the hardest thing for me to do is to, to stop. <laughs> I like to keep going. Now we got a little PBO shimmer. But see over in here how this blue kind of, it, uh, what do I want to say? It like, like the, it like resisted the jelly plate. Maybe it was too thin. See right over here where my hand is right in there. So I don't know how that's going to come out, but I guess the, whatever I put on the back of that's going to show through and maybe save it a little bit. So we shall see. Okay, let's do, you know what? I got this paint. I got this shape thing here. It's just calling to me. So let's go with her. Let's see what happened. On the shirt. Shirt's going to weigh five pounds by the time I'm finished. All right. Where are we going to go with this? I'm thinking on the blue. Somewhere on the blue. Oh, look at you. Let's go somewhere over here. Oh, that one scooched a little bit. But not the end of the world. Go off the page, maybe down there. Let's stop. Okay, where's my paper towels? I need a paper towel dispenser so I can just yank one off instead of having to wrestle the whole roll. Oh, trip to home goods. Hmm. That is always dangerous. Okay, now I want to do something. I wonder if the orange is going to be bright enough. Orange, I love orange with blue. Or this orange. <laughs> oh, okay, we'll do this. We'll do this. We'll try a little PBO orange. Not me! That was the paint tube, I swear. Getting a little bit low, that's why I got my order in the box over there. Um, let's do a little bit different size dot. Where's my little Martha Stewart? Oh, dang it. Here we go. Is that going to work for me? This one's getting a little, I don't know, something happened to it. There we go. You make such nice little circles that when I love me some circles. Let's go over here. Oh, that's not bad. A little light there. I'm going to go back and tap that one, get that solid. Don't have to, but I'm going to. Because I can. Hmm. Not bad. Let's go over here. Let's go off the edge of that. Like that. And like that. Hmm. That's kind of cool. Kind of cool. There's a little space here screaming for a little orange. And let's see. Mm-hmm. Maybe one little dibby dab right there. Or maybe a little something on that one little piece right there that's hollow. All right. Oh, we're not going off the edge with anything, are we? Let's do that. Let's give me a little half one there off the edge. 
little off the edge action there. Okay. All right, I can live with that. Um, let's do some little rings while I got the orange out there. Where did that hang on? This one. This little kind of mid-size cap. I've been saving every time I see a cap off of a hair product or food, whatever. I'm always looking at the cap like, do I need that size circle? I think I do. All right, let's just let's just dive in there, shall we? Putting those at the ends of the little cycles or the stripes. Can't talk. Something over there. A little something, something up here. A little something in there, maybe. Yeah, that looks good on there. I'm liking this. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. A little off the edge action. Something will go in there. Oh, I push too hard. See how it smears and gets fat when I do that? Can you, oh, crap. almost raked my hand through it. Can you see how much like thicker and fatter that one is? I don't know. I don't know why that bugs me. It doesn't really matter. It's mixed media, and we call that texture. Get over it. Okay. All right, I'm a little satisfied with that. Let's go something off the side there. There we go. Circles on my shirt. I'll have to show you my shirt when I get finished. <laughs> okay, I guess we're going to have to air dry that one, but here's where we are. Let me do this way. Oh, one must love some PBO shimmer. Can you see that? Damn these lights. And the text. There we go. Okay. We'll be back. I'm going to sit here and watch it dry. I've heard of watching paint dry, but I'm actually watching paint dry. But they're right. Mm. Okay. Not so much back. Fun. And I think I don't want to get too crazy with color on this one. i got a lot of white space. And I'm going to put this one in aluminum foil. So wherever you see my negative space, it's going to be silver mirror-like behind there. So I'm going to have a lot of flash from that. I want to be able to look at it without sunglasses. If you know what I'm saying. But I do think I need a little black and white. Or do I need a little silver? Hmm. I don't know. Well, let's, I know I need black and white. I know I need white for sure. So, um, I still get a little bit, a little black there that's wet. So, you get another size little dabber. I don't think that's enough there to make a... Oh, Lord, no. Hang on. This is not me. I can tell I got another empty container. Oh, there we go. That'll do. <laughs> okay. My little popo black. I got the black text on there, but that's... Um, Real backgroundy. I need something to come out and scream at me. Like right there. Scream at me. See? Hear that scream? I'm telling you. You can't go wrong with a pop of black in almost any instance. Go right there. So really when you're doing these, somebody emailed me about they're confused about how um, you end up with what you get, what you're looking at, but it's really like painting a picture on a canvas. What you end up with in a final format here, that's what your tape's going to look like. You just want to build up layers and uh, um, you know, do whatever you want to make the painting, if you will, and then uh, the tape goes on right over the top and the, everything you've put in the background or underneath layers, that's where it is. She's underneath. And uh, so it's really, it's kind of cool. Do I need a little bit more black? I need one more black, don't I? Where am I going to put you? Ooh, look at my hands. Sweet Mary. Um, 
Let me put you right there. <laughs> oh, there you go. It's kind of an awkward place, but there you be. Okay. I don't know. I feel like I need more of those. I don't know. Maybe I got enough on here just to do it with. It's all slopped up. All right. Oh, looky there. I'll probably never get that open again. <laughs> okay, something down here. Oops. I twist it in there to get that off of there sometimes when I don't have enough paint on it. The paint's up in the sponge. It's just not evenly on the surface. So I scrounge it in there sometimes. Where are you going, little black dot? Should be easier. I don't know why I make it so difficult on myself. There we go. I think I am now happy. Now I'm happy. That's what I needed right there. Okay. That'll do me for now. Now I need a little pop of white, I do believe. Where's my white? Here it is. So what am I going to put on there in white? I think the bigger circles, huh? That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. All right. These. This is a perfect size. My hair products. Yep. All right. Here we go. We're just going to throw... Oh, hello, white. Hello, hello. Oh, you're popping on there like crazy, aren't you? That brightens it up. Oop. Oop, get on there. I think that might be enough rings of white, perhaps, now, <laughs> or now, and maybe now. Okay, stop. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Okay, but I feel like it's too big. I think I've totally ruined my little fabric castell. This little thing came with um, a new set of Faber-Castell gelatos I got. And I think I have ruined it when I used it the other night doing this. So I'll still keep doing that with it. Let's put a little couple, couple something, somethings in here with the white. Where do we need a little scroll? Oh, that's good. That's a brightener. That's what we need right there, baby. Talk to Mama. There we go. That wakes up the party. I was thinking about putting some silver paint on here. Um, since I'm going to have silver in the background, I didn't know if that would be too much or just right. I don't know. What do you think? You know, if you guys don't start helping me more with these decisions, I don't know what I'm going to do. Okay. Put it down. Back away. Back away. Okay. Here's where we are. Not bad. I can live with it. I do think I want a little silver on there, though. Oh, I wasted a lot of white paint, too. Oh, you silly girl. I should have something to slap it in. I'll figure that out when the paint's drying. <laughs> but I do... What am I going to do with you, a little silver? Oh, I know... Oh, I know what I'll do with you. 
I went to Staples today to get my tape. And they had all these straws in different sizes up there. Oh, that one's kind of oval. I want it to be a skirkle. And make little hollow circles. Little rings of silver. There we go. Let's get this spread out a little bit. And let's see. You gonna work? All right, here we go. We're gonna see. Oh, look at you! Ha ha! Oh, perfection! Put one in the black, one in the black and white. Oops. Couple down. Oh, that wasn't too smart because I um, I must have had a bubble on that one. I know, squirrel. Oh God, I exhaust myself. I'm telling you. Um. Where, where are we going? Getting a little busy, but I want some more in there. And I don't want them on the holes because that's going to be silver on behind the silver. A little redundant about that. So let's just go. Oh, it looks like chain link when I overlap them. How cute are you? Oh, look at you. Oh, my gosh. I yubbed you. I yoked you. Oh, crap, another bubble. Made a little blobo. I'm just getting a little flowery. Not a big flower person, I gotta tell you. I like geometric stuff. Kind of partial to circles, in case you didn't notice. That's really cute, though, when it makes a little, a little chain. Um... I'm running out of places to put the damn chain. Let's go down the blue, shall we? It's such a skinny little edge. It's making really nice marks. I'll be using these babies. They were a big dollar for the whole pack. And that's only a few that was in there. I don't know how many was in there. 50 maybe? I don't know. But I like them. That's kind of cute in the middle of the black. Hmm. Some little scallops off the edge. Oh, yes. This is like, I could put me in a trance. I, I think I'm just, I'm not even talking as much as I should be, I guess, to tell you what I'm doing, but I'm just sort of, I'm in my zone. <laughs> I'm in my jelly zone. I'm kind of running out of places to go with this stuff. Just my camera. I saw my camera go out in my other eye. Okay, let's, um, you know, sooner or later I'm, <laughs> I'm going to have to stop, I think. Stop it. Okay, let's just do a little bit more up there and a little bit more right there. <laughs> okay. You know what? I need some serious help, I think. I can't stop. I'm jelly plating and I can't shut up. But that, I do like those little marks. Now, let's see if you guys can see that, how fine they are. See all the little silver ringlets I put everywhere? And I don't know if you can tell it that they're silver. There, maybe that's a little bit. But they are. So, okay. Air dry. I'll be here fanning. Bye-bye. Okay, so here's where we are. Um, you can see I added some lines. I had a little bit of silver paint left. And an empty room card laying there. And I thought I need to throw in some lines, so... So much for not getting overly busy, but there we are. So now, um, back to the stuff. See how curly this is? Very difficult. Which way will I save? Tape, go this way. 
So that's the eight inch way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? From there. All right, let's go right here. I'm gonna go off. Where the hell are my scissors? Here they are. It's gonna take me three people to hold this thing down. All right. Put that there. This is hateful stuff to get fattened out, I'm telling you. Come on, baby. Here we go. Don't wrinkle on me. That's all I need is a more an invitation for more bubbles. So I really like that straw, how fine it is with those little little lines on there. Me like it. Okay, it worked before. Put this over here. So I'm gonna assume it's gonna work again for me just to pull a little corner off of this bad boy. There we go. These new glasses, I'm telling you. I'm gonna have to go back. I'm waiting for a call from my doctor because I got them. I go to a really well-known uh, ophthalmologist in our area. But he's, I'm so hard to fit for frames. Apparently I got a fat head. Um, I couldn't find anything there that I liked that was, I found plenty of stuff I like, but nothing that fit me that I liked. So I went elsewhere, elsewhere, not paying off. The sweet spot for where I can actually see is like, I gotta move my head like a cat. Yeah, can't see very well if I turn my head any direction. And not being a big green fan, just seeing this right here, I uh, it's does it's not wowing well me. I don't know why. I don't dislike green. I just the right shade of green is okay. There's my bone folder. There you are. This does you do get air bubbles with this. You got to really, really um, go back and use this. Use a bone folder to squidge this down some so you get contact between the paint and the sticky 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 side See right there there's a big bubble right there I can even when actually you probably can't but I can see it oh I don't know what I did there but apparently I puckered the tape a little bit who knows this may end up being one of my favorite ones Poor green. I don't mean to say I don't like you, but there's certain shades I like, like this. I love this. Kind of like grass green, just green green. I think because my, my first husband's favorite color was green. I might have a little re remaining issue about the color green. <laughs> but I do not think so. For he is long gone from my memory. I don't even know why I remember that. <laughs> There's a bubble right there. Get out of there, bubble. There it is. Oh, I gotcha. You can actually see them get chased over to the side and see the tape adhere. If the bubble's in the clear spot, I'm not that worried about it, which that one is right there, because that's going to get colored on the back anyway. All right, here we go. I'm gonna go from your side to see what we got. And I'm not gonna worry about the little bits that are down there. I don't really think it makes that much of a difference in the outcome. Come on, turn on camera. I have to set, change that setting so my screen doesn't go to sleep so quickly. Aha, there we are. And here's what we got. I do like those little stripies in there, though, I gotta tell you. So let me, um, let me do something. What am I doing? Again, with the space. I'll lay this somewhere with the sticky side up. Move this. Here's my foil. That's the dull side, that's the shiny side. 
So what they did on the Jelly Arts video was they took a bone folder and scrunched out the wrinkles. And they just used it on one of the pieces of tape. So I think it might be a little bit trickier using it on this whole sheet. But I'm going to try it anyway. I don't care. I don't care. Ooh, I'm going to need something to help me weight this down, though, I, do, I think. <laughs> Here we go. Lord, it's like I'm at the beach trying to hold in my blanket. Oh, come on. Here we go. All right. Again, I'm going to try to go from one side to the other to try to have the least amount of air bubbles as is possible. Where's my bone folder? Here it is. Got my hand. So I started the wrong way to show you guys, and now I'm not using my right hand. All right. Here we go little by little. She's a going down. Oh, I think the blue is coming out brighter. It's so funny on the jelly plate. None of these fluorescent colors look really that flow on the page. But that looks a lot brighter. So that's what we got. That's pretty cool, huh? All right, let me trim the edges. Come on, work with me. There we go. Yeah, this isn't so bad, but I think I did use too little blue color when I first brayered this down. I do believe that was the issue. Why that, you know, why that resisted on the plate. But that's okay, because the silver's going to show through anywhere where it buckled up. So... It's not like I'm making fine jewelry. <laughs> oh, that actually, that's pretty cool. I like where those two colors blended for sure. And I do like the green now that it's off the plate more. So there it is. All foil on the back. All jelly fun and pretty on the front. Oh, I loved you. Mwah. So you know what? This is really feels... You know what? While you're here, let's let's do something, shall we? Hold on. Don't leave me. I'm gonna roll over here to my punch drawer. I'm gonna see if I can do if this is gonna punch. Got a big old squiggle right there. So let me find my least favorite spot on here in case I hose it. I don't have one. <laughs> Now what the hell? We'll just go up here. Get in there. Let me see. I don't want to waste any. So I'm going to look at the bottom so I can see where right where the edges are. All right, hang on. Oh, crap. Mm-mm. I do believe, oh, wait a minute. Let's see, I thought I smelled a disaster, but maybe, well, maybe I do. I might have screwed up the tape as well as the foil. <laughs> Don't try this at home, folks. I might need to work on this one before I show you. Oh, dang. <laughs> see my problem it cut the foil and it cut I don't know what the hell happened to tell you that what am I trying to act like I know what happened oh mercy let me just yank her out of there <sighs> you know some days your good ideas. All right. Now we're just getting stupid. Let me just cut this off of there. At this point, I'm just trying to save my punch. <laughs> oh my. Okay. 
That was not a good idea. Looky there. All right. Um, okay, but I'm not giving up that easy because it hacks me off to lose. Oh, look at you. That was pitiful, wasn't it? All right, let's try one of these. And I don't think this is going to come out any better. But now I feel compelled to see if it's going to punch anything. <laughs> the answer would be no. <laughs> Made an indentation around it. Cut the foil, but it won't cut that. I don't know if it's just because they're not sharp enough or because the, the material feels like it stretches a little bit when you try to cut it. So I think you have to do it the old fashioned way if you want to cut circles out of there. Oh, rats. Well, anyway, I have a um, big old sheet of something here. If I hold it like this, you don't really notice, do you? Mm, isn't it beautiful? Hey, yeah, yeah. So this doesn't matter if I lay this on black or white because you can't see through it anything but the silver foil anyway. But I, I do like that foil. Too bad aluminum foil doesn't come in other colors. But I know that, well, I had, I know I have copper and silver and gold leaf with my lamp working stuff. So maybe I'll try that one day. But that day is not going to be today. Got to go get myself all pretty. Go over and hang out with Joyce and Johnny. Maybe have a little cocktail. See what happens. But anyway, there you go. Here's what I got. Here's my sheet with the black, white, and gold and red on it. With the um, various goldish colored pearls in the back. That is not going to come out without a glare where you can see the shimmer, is it? Mm. And then here's my aluminum foil experiment. Kind of like it. Kind of like it. So, that's what I got today, peeps. Going to put these in my book. Call her a day. So, uh, thanks for hanging in with me again. And um, I'll be back soon because my brain's just whirling with this stuff. Now i got to figure out what to do with it. And as I say that, I'm looking over here. I started doing this the other night. I alter cigar boxes. Um, and I started putting one on the jelly plate, just trying to mess with it. And some of it's okay, some of it, eh. Of course, I wouldn't use any of that on here. But I'm wondering on my one of my cigar boxes what that would be like. I have some pictures of them on my blog. Oh, by the way, which is www.inkyobsessions.blogspot.com and also don't forget go to um if you want to follow me when i use stream and try to do something live where we can maybe hook up a chat and uh, I me mean, hopefully not be cutting my finger off lose a digit when i'm trying to do two things at once lord knows um but it's inky obsessions no space on uh on Ustream. So if you sign up to follow me there, whenever I do get around to trying something, you'll get a notification. And I'll put it on Facebook as well. Um, and probably tweet it. Although I'm not, not a big on not a big tweeter, gotta tell you. Um so how go out and have yourselves a great weekend. It's supposed to get really nice here tomorrow. It's actually it's nice right now. Started out kind of crappy and rainy, which is why I got down here. Started hunkering down to work. And now the sun's shining, so we're gonna have to go do something fun. So I'll talk to you soon. Bye.